Well, it's a beautiful day for woodworking. Got the uh, computer ready. Uh, I've got this five quarter inch thick maple live edge. Uh, today we're making a dragon table. This table's 38 inches in length. And it goes from uh, about almost 14 and a half to about 13 and a half. Do you want to see how I made it? Stick around. Well, here we are. Uh, got the centers done. It's evenly divided from that side to that side. And now it's time to get it set up to get it uh, decarved out. Okay, so we're all set to do the first dragon. Hopefully I got this right. Okay, there's the dragon carved out on the one side. Now all I have to do is set up the carve it out on the other side. Okay, so she's set up and ready to rock. Let's get the second dragon cut out. Okay, there we go. Both dragons are put in. I sanded all the fuzzies out. One's a little lower than the other one, but that doesn't matter because they're both flying in toward each other. Okay, two different forms of painting. I actually just brushed in the lines. I wanted to be really careful because I've got this uh, knot that is showing through the wood and I don't want the paint to get into the knot and destroy the actual photograph of it. This one over here, I just did a dump. I dumped the paint on and then I swiped it into the uh, lines and then wiped all the excess paint off. So now all it is is wait for it to dry and I can sand it and then varnish it, uh, super glaze it, put legs on it, and it'll be a good table. All right, the paint's dried. It's been a couple days because I got another job to do. But uh, now we're going to go ahead and sand it. There it is. I actually had more success dumping the paint on this one because it's a little bit darker than this one. So now the only thing left is to clear glaze this and then uh, put the legs on and I got a table. 